it's been a, a long, long time. <laughs> this feels awkward. Like, I'm not gonna lie. This right here, good child. All right. <laughs> Girl, get it together. That was actually very helpful. Hello, beautiful people. Thank you so much for joining. It's Darnell, and I'm here with a very long overdue tutorial. I hope you guys can forgive me for taking this long to do this tutorial. I hope you guys are still interested in the style and give it a try for yourselves. I hope my little tips and tricks help you. And yeah, we're just gonna get right into it. But first, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. <laughs> I had to throw that in there. Come on, y'all know? Y'all already know the deal. All right, so yes, there is a reason. There's a few reasons as to why you guys haven't been seeing me for a while. And you've been seeing me, but in a very like limited kind of way. So... I haven't filmed a hair tutorial or hair video in a while. And part of it was because I didn't want to just be redundant. And I definitely didn't want to waste your time. And I was just kind of going with the flow. And for those of you that have been with me throughout this journey for a long time, you know I'm all about going with the flow. So. If the flow feels like not doing much or focusing on other things, then that's what I'm going to do. I'm not trying to force anything, anything, okay? I don't believe in that. So here I am. I felt like now was the time. So here I am. Um, some of the other reasons... I feel like I should say for a separate video, which would be considered like a story time video, kind of, sort of. It's not really a story if it's like so ongoing, right? Um, yeah, but I'm gonna definitely let you guys know what's been going on with me. And yeah, I'll just say that. I'm just gonna say that, just leave that there. Let's just park that right there. Okay, so. For today's tutorial, all I'll be using is some plain water, my little edge brush comb thing is broken, don't judge me, okay? And my medium hold mousse for my little fuzzy edge area. So this part is optional, you do not have to do, you do not have to use these if you don't want to. I I think I'm going to use them. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, so what I wanted to show you guys today was a demonstration of me doing the lock braid crown on myself. So you guys saw it in one of my previous videos, which I will link right here. And you guys saw that I demonstrated this style on Ricardo's hair which it came out so good. And I do the style on him like once a week, at least, <laughs> um, because his locks are so long and they just get in his way. So he always asked me to braid up his locks so that they can be out of his way. And I actually love to do it. So I'm gonna try to do this on my hair. Bear with me because it's been a long time since I've tried to do this on myself. I hope that it comes out good and yeah, that's it. So my hair is freshly washed. I just washed it two days ago. No, it was yesterday. Oh my gosh. The way that the time flies, girl. Can you keep up? Because I can't. So I'm just going to lightly 
mist my hair just so that it's a little bit more like pliable, which it feels soft and everything because it's freshly washed and oiled, but I just want to make sure that it goes where I'm trying to guide it to go. Sometimes when it needs a little bit of water, it acts like it doesn't want to do what I'm trying to get it to do. Y'all know, if you have locks, starter locks, you're two years into your journey, you're four, five, eight years into your journey, you know that these babies have a mind of their own and they don't mind telling you when they don't want to do something. <laughs> So, I hope that this water will help get them right, okay? So, I'm just going to spritz a little bit. For those of you that are loving my shirt, it says locks, sage, chakras, and crystals. And these are all things that are a complete vibe package for me. <laughs> so I thought this shirt was perfect. I think it's beautiful and I will link where I got it from. You guys have seen some of my other shirts that I've gotten from the same company and I have zero complaints about their stuff. So yeah, just figured I'll just mention that real quick. But yeah, this shirt was gifted to me. And I absolutely appreciated it. I love it. I think it's so cute. And it just embodies how I feel and like the things that I enjoy. And yeah. So with this style, you can do a light retwist along the edges in the front if you like. Um, I think I'm gonna do that real quick, just a little bit. So I'm just starting off with three locks and I'm crossing them over each other before grabbing another lock into each section and then crossing those sections over each other and continuing on all the way until I can't go anymore. If you guys do not know how to cornrow, I'm sorry this video probably won't teach you that. But you can definitely search for video tutorials from other people teaching you how to do this. I am not the best corn rower <laughs> at all. Um, yeah, as you can see, I mean, I make it work, but I'm not the best at it. So yeah, even if you're in the beginning of learning how to do it, just continue to practice and you will get better. Trust and believe me, my corn rows didn't look even this good a few years ago because I just I just couldn't get it to be tight but in this case I'm just cornrowing all the way down and then braiding the ends all the way to the end until it feels like a secure braid Okay, so I'm going to show you, this is one half, it's the other, okay, so now I'm going to start braiding the other side. begin to corn roll going in the up direction. Now this is a bit tricky to do and to be honest with you, it felt like I was doing it wrong. <laughs> but as I just kept going on and as I went along, it did start to form and look right. Now in this case, I should have started the corn roll using 
the end of the first cornrow, but I did not. So it's just a note for next time and a note for you guys not to make the same mistake that I did. So now that I've incorporated the first braid with now the second braid, I will then grab one lock from one section out of the three sections and I will take it and loop it under one of the locks from the beginning of the first braid. So as you can see, I'm just stopping for a moment to take one lock, loop it under the original first braid and then add that that lock back to its section and then continue to corn roll and then just keep doing that until I run out of locks basically so doing this helps to lock in that next braid to the first braid without the use of pins now I've done this on Ricardo's hair a number of times and it works um it's really towards the end that gets a little tricky because sometimes if the lock isn't long enough um it's hard to get it to like loop under one of the previously braided locks but if it comes down to it don't be afraid to use a straight pin to help secure the style if you feel like it's a little loose or like it may come out because if you feel like it may come out or may come a loose, trust and believe it will. All it'll take is one wrong bump of your braid and then the whole thing will just start to come unraveled and nobody wants that. At one point, I did feel like my ends just would not stay in because... No, oh, I can't see. I'm going to go closer to the mirror because I cannot see. Y'all know I wear glasses. <laughs> one second. I took one of the rubber bands from my cowrie shell and I just used that to help secure those ends together in one piece basically and then loop that under some of the locks that were in the original braid to help secure the overall halo braid. Oh girl, my hands are on fire. So this did not come out perfectly like I wanted it to. It's also been a long time. Um, but again, if you need to use pins, don't be afraid to use them. They are your friend. <laughs> and now here, I'm just trying to lay these baby hairs down. Some of these hairs are not babies. They are teenagers. <laughs> don't mind that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just wanted to just... Try to slick it down just a little bit. This uh, mousse is not the strongest hold. So even in doing this within maybe an hour or two or even just going outside in the hot, humid weather, my edges did start to revert and they did not remain laid down. Y'all, I'm not happy with this. Let's see if I can loosen it from where I connected it. So I just wasn't satisfied with the way that the overall halo crown was looking in this section. So I took that first, the end of the first braid down and I unraveled it just a little bit and rebraided it because I felt like certain locks weren't sitting correctly and then secured it under the rest of the second braid. I think this is as good as it's going to get for me today because my locks are not cooperating. Look, my hands hurt. But you know what? This, this is actually not really a bad thing. I don't have what I'm thinking of in this room right now, but something that could be done to kind of fix the fact that it looks a little lopsided like this part smushes in instead of rounds out like this side so two things one i think i need to start lower so i started like about here i think that's a no-no i can't remember how i did it in the past on myself to make it look good 
or better than this. But off of the top of my head, I believe where I start, the first braid is what truly sets the tone for the final look. So I think I should have started here. So from one end all the way until I couldn't go anymore and then continue from the back and then do what I was trying to do, which was loop the back braid into the front braid. Um, so that's one. Two, let's say you do this. It's coming out weird and a little lopsided. A, I would suggest adding some pins, some straight pins, just for the added security. Because I can already tell one bump and it's, it's coming apart. Like, it's going to be done. And B, the other thing is to make the mistake or make what you didn't really want Make it look like you did it on purpose. <laughs> How would they know? How would they know? They would never know. They wouldn't. So the thought that I had in my mind, since this part looks a little smushed, was, oh, it would be so cool if I had like one of those flower pins and bam, just put it right there. And that will help fill in that section and it'll make it look balanced, even though it's not. It'll just create the illusion that it's balanced, which is great because then you'll be happy, your pictures will look great, and no one would ever think that your hair just failed you, like mine did. Um, <laughs> but yeah, overall, I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Um, it was very difficult. It was very difficult to like get my fingers right. I hope that the camera captured everything right, because if it didn't, I'm going to owe you guys a do-over. So I'm going to do a spin around so you can see what it looks like and yeah let's do that and then I'll give you a t another tip that I have Okay, the other tip is to wait until the end to tuck in any of the stray or like loose hairs that are just like sticking out all over the place. Um, sometimes you can just kind of tuck them under a previously braided lock like I was trying to do. Some of mine just wouldn't, just wouldn't go. Um, but my ends are pretty thick. So I don't know if it's that or if my hair just has an attitude today. It just wants to be less straight. I don't know. Based on my experience doing this style on myself before and it coming out right. As a matter of fact, for those of you that have not seen my hair in this style done correctly, where it looks pretty, I'm going to insert a picture for you right here. See? Now that's the way it was supposed to look. Not like this. This was just on a whole nother level. But that, yeah, now that's pretty. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to put them down in the comment section below. Please be sure to visit the description box. That's where I'll add some information as to where I got certain things from, what certain things are called, yada, yada, yada. Okay. Of course, if you have not already done so, please hit that like button to like this video and let me know that you actually enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe if you have not already done so. I appreciate all of my subscribers, the ones that have been with me from the beginning, as well as the ones that are subscribing right now. <laughs> Make sure you also hit that notification bell so you don't miss any new videos or anything that I post or share. Hopefully I covered everything. I hope you guys understand. Listen, sometimes, sometimes it can be a struggle. You guys already know, like I said in the beginning, I like going with the flow. If it wasn't for me doing the tutorial for you guys, I, I would have quit doing this style and said, no, we'll just wait until tomorrow because my hair is not in the mood today. <laughs> but for the sake of the video, I just kept going and tried to power through it. My hands are actually still aching me as we speak. 
Um, so yeah, I will not be doing any styles. I'm going to be taking this out and I will not be doing any styles for the next couple days. I hope you all have enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, I'll talk to you guys next time. I'll see you later. Bye.